too, don't you? Yes, uh, well, she doesn't look like a man, but she can certainly pull off the trouser roll part, definitely. Let's watch her. Barbara, thank you. Thanks. And here she comes, Eleanor Garantia from Latvia, joining the orchestra of Welsh National Opera and Richard Hickox. In aria from Mozart's La Clemenza de Tito, the character Sesto has been asked to kill the Emperor Titus to satisfy his lover's jealous rage. Here he gives his reply. <laughs>
A very popular choice here at Cardiff Singer, that, I think in part because of the long coloratura passage at the end. Sent tonight by Eleanor Gallancher from Latvia. And now her German is put to the test as she sings a Brahms song. In the evening, a boy and a girl walk home together through wooden fields.
Lionel Gallantra is going to sing Rossini's Una Voce Poco Fa as her last piece. It's a very popular showpiece, full of rapid coloratura runs and perilous high notes. If a singer has a brilliant technique, this is the piece to show it off with. It's an aria that Jorah Marilyn Horn is very familiar with as a singer. And I asked her, what's a competitor going to have to do with it in order to impress her? As you said, it's great technical things are involved, but because it's such a famous aria, so many people uh, try to sing it who shouldn't sing it. So that therefore, when we hear it with everything put together, it's, it's, a, it's again a great, the great piece that it is, of course. And you, know, you really need um, a big personality to, to bring this kind of a piece off. So uh, I would say voice, technique, some comedic ability, big personality, those are the openers. Need to look 16. That's the other, other thing. <laughs>
Eleanor Gallancher, a portrait of a vixenish, beguiling, independent character. Rathina in Rathini's Barber of Seville. Well, for my money, she was vixenish enough. Well, didn't you say you were going to give me half an hour to talk about her? <laughs> that is a performer. Really fantastic. She really is a star, and it's written all over her. Yes. Let's talk about her, her song. She sang a Brahms song, which yes. I thought was the one thing that was possibly slightly early for her. Well... Possibly. I mean, after all, at 24, how much have you actually lived? In order to sing songs and tell the stories, all the, the emotions behind those stories, you have to have lived a little bit more. Her German is very good. She's at the Frankfurt Opera House, so that speaks for that. But I think she just needs a little bit more time to grow into Lieder singing. What about her Mozart? Yeah, the Sesto was fantastic. Uh, she has wonderful coloratura. There's only one thing I worry about ever so slightly, and she mustn't let her voice get any bigger than it is right now. She's so young, it's quite dark, and if she lets it get any bigger, the high notes are going to suffer, maybe not now, but in a few years' time. So that's the only thing that I would say she might have a problem with. She, I have to say, is the first singer so far to really set the audience yes. alight here. The first time they've been whooping and cheering like that. So yes. I think that's probably quite a good sign, isn't it? It is a very good sign, and I think she was probably born singing Rosina. It just comes out of her as if she doesn't even have to think about it at all. It's really great. Let's move on to our next singer.